Um, I used to be a B cop a long time ago. And I get called out on domestic disputes all the time, hundreds probably over the years. But there was this one guy, this one piece of shit that I will never forget, Gordy. He looked like Bo Svensson. You remember him? Walking tall, you don't remember? No. Anyway, big boy, 270, 280. But his wife, or whatever she was, lady, was real small, like a bird. Wrist like little branches. Hmm. Anyway, my partner and I get called out there every weekend. And one of us would pull her aside and we'd say, come on, tonight's the night we press charges. And this wasn't one of those deep down, he really loves me setups. We got a lot of those, but not this. This girl was scared. She wasn't going to cross him, no way, no how. Nothing we could do but pass her off to the EMTs, put him in the car, drive him downtown, throw him in a drunk tank. He sleeps it off, next morning out he goes, back home. And one night, my partner's out sick, and it's just me. And the call comes in, and it's the usual crap. Broke her nose in the shower kind of thing. So I cuff him, put him in the car, and away we go. Only that night, we're driving into town, and this sideways asshole, is in my back seat humming Danny Boy. <laughs> and it just rubbed me wrong. So instead of left, I go right out into nowhere. And I kneel him down and I put my revolver in his mouth. And I told him, this is it. This is how it ends. And he's crying, going to the bathroom all over himself, swearing to God he's going to leave. Screaming as much as you can with a gun in your mouth. And I told him to be quiet. I didn't need to think about what I was going to do to you. And of course he got quiet. Go still. And real quiet. Like a dog waiting for dinner scraps. And we just stood there for a while. I chose a half measure when I should have gone all the way. 